According to my sources, President Biden has agreed to step down as a Democratic nominee. Oh, man. It will happen as early as this weekend. A speech has been drafted for him. He will continue on as president, is his intention. He also will not, I'm told, endorse Vice President Harris as his successor. He, they're hoping that he will endorse an open process in which the convention will be open to Vice President Harris and a few other candidates in Chicago to pick the, Republican, the Democratic nominee for president. The belief is that Vice President Harris is already looking at potential running mates to go to Chicago with a, t a full ticket. Hey guys, my name is Devorah Darkens. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, breaking news, which we knew this was going to happen eventually. It just has to, right? I mean, the writing was on the wall for many, many weeks. We've done many, many videos. You guys have heard all of the stories, the gaffes, the jokes, the memes, all from the debate, by the way, of Joe Biden finally looking like he's going to drop out of the race. Now, he has yet to come out officially and state this. Uh, according to sources, he's going to draft something and announce it to the nation uh, in the weekend or whenever that day is. I knew they were going to pull something like this on the day that Donald Trump was supposed to give his RNC speech. So, of course, you know, it, it's funny how they played this po political game with each other. Anyways, I digress. What I'm going to do is get into some videos and then we will react. And before I do, you already know what to do. Like, share and subscribe. Let's play the video. President Biden isolated quite literally with COVID but also isolated politically as pressure mounts on him to bow out of the race for the White House. I mean, that is so creepy right there, right? <laughs> I mean, it's like, don't you feel bad, right? He does not look... Like he can last for another four years doing the job. Could he live for another four years? Yeah. But could he be the president for the next four years? Absolutely not. Where's the salute? You're that supposed was to salute. President Biden arriving in Delaware last night after canceling uh. a campaign event in Las Vegas. Reporters there asking the president to respond to reporting from ABC News that Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer told Biden it would be best if he dropped out. Right. So you guys seen that, right? So, I mean, it's it's it, it just it does not look good. Uh, this was early of this morning that these reports were flying around that, you know, all of the big dogs went in and told him, hey, you need to drop out. And that's what you need to do. We also heard about uh, Joe Scarborough, who is one of his biggest defenders on the internets and on TV. He also said that it looks good that he should probably drop out. And then our favorite group, they even admitted it, and that is The View. And let's take a look at that video. And the time is very, very short now. So yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I wouldn't put it past them to just say, look, Joe, we can't, you know, but Nancy Pelosi, she would not bring a vote to the floor unless she knew it was going to get passed. Yeah. This is not a woman who plays games. And she doesn't feel that he can win, I don't think. So, you know, when I saw her at the Republican, the Democratic convention right before Trump beat, um, beat Hillary, um, I said to her, what if he wins? And she said, he's not going to win. I think she's learned her lesson yeah. that she said he wasn't going to win, and then he did. So, you know, she's very cautious now. That's and uh, we have to save the country somehow. I, mean, it, I think that's the, re the reporting is coming out that behind the scenes, someone like a Hakeem Jeffries and, and yeah. Senator Schumer have spoken to the president and, and, and have explained to him that he has a great legacy to stand on. He's done a lot of wonderful things for the country, but uh -huh. it's time for him to pass sure the baton, yes. much like Nancy Pelosi passed the baton to yeah. Hakeem Jeffries. Um, I, I will say this, it's his decision to make. Um, it seems to me that these behind the, the scenes meetings that should be private are being leaked intentionally to sort of force his hand. Um, I think that's disrespectful to the president. I think it's disrespectful to the office. Even if he doesn't drop out, I think we have to understand that there's a binary choice. There is a threat, an existential threat well, to democracy on go. one side and Joe Biden on the other. Right. So he still has my vote because he has mm. Vice President Harris right next to him who is ready to step into the role of... Yeah, you know, it's it's even if he's in a coffin, 
you guys are going to vote for him. You know, it, it's just, it's crazy. And still the threat to democracy line, right? We're still saying that. <laughs> so, you know, they, they, these these women, they're evil, you know, and, and people eat it up. You know, it's, it's pretty sad. Uh, let's go ahead and go back over to this original clip and see what else they are saying about Biden dropping out. On the first ballot, the regular delegates would be allowed to vote under this agreement that's being talked about amongst the president and high level Democrat officials. The regular delegates would vote on the first ballot if there is no winner on the first ballot. The so-called super delegates would be allowed to vote on the subsequent ballot. This decision was reached, I'm told, all of a sudden because of the high-level pressure from Nancy Pelosi, Barack Obama, and others, and as well as the decision of many of the President of Biden's top aides, that there was no path forward for him, that he would not be able to win this election, win the general election. And therefore, wow. he's stepping aside again as early as this weekend. So, mm. Mark, you know, what are the points? Yeah, I mean, it's about time, right? And look, I already said this. The Democrats put themselves in this position. He was only supposed to be a, trans a transitional candidate. He was not supposed to run for re-election. But they took their eye off the ball. They were so focused on prosecuting Donald Trump and doing everything they can to stop him because he is the threat to democracy um, and they forgot about <laughs> their own party and, and what their plans were going to be in 2024. And now we're here and, you know, they're, they're having to scramble and get this together. But I'll tell you what, never put anything past the Democrats. They are very, when they're organized, they are really organized. And if they can get things organized, this is not going to be, um, what would I say, uh, an easy election for, uh, Trump and the Republicans to win. So it's going to be a crazy month for sure and leading all the way up to the election. But, you know, it, it's you don't want to see your grandfather looking like this on TV. You don't want to see him losing his his train of thought. You don't want to see him compromise. It's a bad image on a personal level. If you're a family member, it's a bad image. If you're just a regular American citizen, you're not even into politics. You could care less but you want to see a, your, your leader, your commander in chief, your president inspire you and, and look strong and confident. And then on the international stage, you definitely don't want our enemies looking at us like we're compromised because this is the image we are portraying. It has nothing to do with what side you're on. I mean, image de definitely matters uh, on the international stage. So uh, let's see what else he has to say. What are the political ramifications for a party that based much of their platform on diversity, equity and inclusion and they're mm. passing right over Kamala Harris and he's not going to be endorsing her, according to your sources? Now, as, according to my sources, he will say very nice things about her. They do not want uh, what some of my sources have been calling a Kamala coronation, mm. that the problem in part that they found themselves in was that President Biden was not seriously challenged for the nomination. I'm told by some of her people, I don't know that the vice president thinks this, but some of her people believe she will win this, that she'll choose a strong running mate, that she does have the support of many of the delegates who are Biden-Harris delegates, and that she can win this basically on her own. And at least yeah. one of her allies said to me, this is better, better to not be anointed by Joe Biden, better to show independence, better to show with a strong ticket the capacity to win the nomination on her. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe that whatsoever. I, I, I mean, if... Think, think of the contradiction that has is happening right in front of our eyes. One minute he comes out and he says, absolutely, I chose Kamala Harris because I knew she could become president and she has my full support and endorsement. And then on the other breath, he says, uh, yeah, I'm not going to endorse her officially for president now that I'm dropping out. I mean, that doesn't that's a big contradiction. And we've already talked about this. This is this is, has the potential to be so chaotic because if they're just going to gloss right over her, they're going to have some issues on their hand because Democrats lead with identity politics. Everything is about race to them. So if they do something that contradicts that, it's going to blow up in their face. That's that's really where, where it's at right now. So, man, this is this is getting crazy. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's this is like I said, this is getting crazy. Uh, this is going to be, um, you know, it's going to get a lot of attention when he does officially announce. 
Um, hopefully, <laughs> in some breath, this may not be true. I, but I mean, when you have reporters coming out and saying this is what they're being told, this is absolutely about to go down. So, you know, I, I really hope that the Democrats lead with Kamala Harris. I do not believe she's actually a strong candidate. I believe she is just as dirty as Biden. And what I mean by that is over the last four years, Americans are upset at the differences of how much things cost uh, these wars that are taking place. And her name's on it, too, including the immigration issue at the border. So, I mean, <laughs> she's not clean either here. So that that's a, that's what I mean by that. Uh, anyways, th th this is my mindset on it. I want to hear what yours is. What do you think about this breaking news? What do you think about him finally uh, accepting reality? And what do you think about the potential that they may gloss over her, knowing that she's supposed to be uh, you know, uh, she was put on the 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 ticket because, you know, uh, a black uh, female vice president. We, we want to make sure black people are represented. I mean, what do you think about that? The, the potential for them to go with someone else besides her or the, you know, the fighting that could take place. Let me know all your thoughts and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. I'll see you in the next one.